Tara. Hello. How are you doing? Good. It's good to see you, man. Welcome to class. Oh, you can't see my face. Sorry. Would you like to talk to just my shirt and literally nothing else? <laughs> what did you have for breakfast? Eat? Mm-hmm. Um, cereal. Cereal. What kind of cereal was it? <gasps> oh, man. I got the hiccups. What is it? What was it? Cheerios. Cheerios, gotcha. Very, very cool. Let's see, who else do we have? <laughs> Looks like we got Jake. What's up, man? Let's see. Oh, we got Leo. Excellent. And ooh, we got Katie. Hi, Katie. And who's that? They're up they're upside down. Mom. Hey, we got Jack. Good to see you, Jack. We got Luke. Hey, man. Let's see. What an Eli right on. Life is good. This is fantastic. We have Hirsch. Let's see. Oh, and Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Oh, we got Benjamin Arthur. Awesome. And there's Arav. Dude, Arav, you've got like a cool sword. Let me see that. Yeah. Is that real? That looks awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I've got the hiccups like crazy. That's not good. Let me see. Ooh, we've got... Let me see. Ooh, we've got Francesca. Wonderful. And we got Paxton. Hi, man. And John. Ooh, and Anna. And Phoebe, fantastic. Okay, let me see what time we have here. Looks like we've got one minute. Oh, we got, hi, hi Leah. <laughs> Man, that's killing me. Uh, so it looks like we got a minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait just in case anybody else pops in. And Eva and Anna, wonderful. Um. I see sister. I can't wait to get back. We can find the elbow. Oh no. You know what I do. I can't wait so, to get back. I am so with you. I cannot wait. I am I, I miss all the guys. The elbow. <laughs> I miss the dojo. That's the darn truth. What do you do with your hair? What I do with my hair? I exploded it. It's everywhere. No, I just styled it. I, I'm actually, I actually went, uh, I went outside today. I went to the grocery store, so I felt like making it look somewhat nice. Let's see. Do we have anybody? Else? I've got hair like a devil. You gotta press mute when it starts. Okay. okay. I've got hair like a devil. Feel like hair like what? Devil. I'm gonna say something. Well, my, my is yes, like yes, it. yes. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'm psyched for class today. Hope you've all had an awesome day. Um, what I'd like is, while well, we've all got our mics unmuted, I'd like you all to tell me at the same time what you had for breakfast this morning. Ready? Go. Breakfast. Fruit loops. Fruit loops. Fruit loops. Cereal. Oh, but yeah, oh, or no. no. Cereal. Oh. Waffles I have every morning. Fruit tigers. I have waffles. 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 I had, it was an egg, it was basically an egg muffin with Ooh. green chili and sweet potatoes and chorizo, and it was quite good, let me tell you. You know, I mean, I, I had a lot of Your face, Liam, you're like, what is that? That looks, that sounds terrible. I All right, go ahead and mute your mics, guys. And I, I, I can do it for you. 
I'm going to go ahead and get y'all muted here and we'll get the show on the road. Boop. There it is. Excellent. All righty. So uh, we're going to talk about if we have, if we, if we're there, we're going to get into some jump kicks today. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, so I don't know if you guys remember last week I had you use an old shirt as a target for kicking. We're going to do that again today. Um, if you have an actual target, of course, feel free to use that. Um, that's just if you don't have a better option, then you can use that. They work just fine, so there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and then we're going to hit some form of you and some techniques. We're going to learn some new stuff. It's going to be a good day. Let's get the show on the road. All right, so if I say pineapple, your job is to jump down and do push-ups. If I say rhubarb, then you have to hop up and do round kicks over and over. You don't stop until I call up something else. So just a quick review, rhubarb means round kick. Pineapple means push up. Thumbs up. All right, guys, remember you don't stop until I call out something else. Ready, steady, rhubarb. Tia, 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 pineapple. Rhubarb. Push, push. Push, push, push. That's it, keep it up, keep it up. All right, if I say Jolly Ranchers, that means jumping jacks. Jolly Ranchers, go. Rhubarb, tip, tip, tip. Pineapple. Jolly Ranchers. Let's see, okay. Boom. Rhubarb. That's the one. All right, if I say cannoli, that means to hop into a crane stance and to not move. Cannoli. There it is. No moving. No wiggling. Uh, rats. Pineapple. That means push-ups. Cannoli. Oh, whoops. Nice. Jolly Ranchers. Cannoli. Pineapple. Rhubarb. Tia. 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 Cannoli. All right, if I say salad, that means squats, just like this. All right, salad, go. Pineapple. Salad. Dollar races. Cannoli. Pineapple. Salad. <laughs> Pineapple. Rhubarb. Tip. 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 Cannoli. Don't move. Don't wiggle. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do it. Salad. Cannoli. All right, guys, if I say pork and beans, that means I want you to do palm heels super fast. Tia, 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 tia. I got pork and beans, go. Rhubarb. Tia. 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 Pork and beans, go. Cannoli. Salad. Jolly Rangers. Jumping Jack. Rhubarb. Tia. 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 Pork and beans. Tia. Pineapple. Cannoli. All right, you guys ready for the nightmare round? 
Yeah. I'm gonna go really fast. Oh, gotcha. I'll go ahead and mute everybody. Thanks for, thanks for the heads up. Let me see, mute all. There we go. Okay. Uh, just like that message read, guys. Make sure you stay muted unless I ask you to. Okay. All right. Here we go. Nightmare round. I'm gonna go really, really fast. Here we go. And rhubarb, tia, tia, pineapple, salad, jolly ranchers. Salad, pineapple, salad, pineapple, rhubarb, jelly ranchers, cannoli, pineapple, cannoli, pork and beans, pork and beans, salad, pineapple, rhubarb. Pork and beans. And time. Nicely done, guys. Let me take a quick couple breaths. Go like this. Very good. We're going to do a horse stance challenge. It's simple. Mr. Burton's going to do a horse stance. Low for two minutes. Your job is to go as long as me. Okay? All right. Mr. Burton. So Yes. Um, can we, um, if you have it on grid view, you might be able to see everyone. Can we do like um, a contest who can do the longest? That is a great question. Well, some of you can go like 30 minutes and that would take the whole class. So <laughs> we're, we're not going to go quite that long. But that's a well, great I mean, idea. Like, I'll keep it in mind. The limit would be five minutes and then you would stop there. I love it idea. We're, I love that idea. We're going to go ahead and keep it at two minutes, but thank you for the input. Okay, guys, uh, my video is going to freeze for a second while I switch to my stopwatch. Everything's fine. You're frozen. That's correct. There we go. All right, guys, time starts now. Horse dance. There it is. All right, so we should be about this high at the moment. There it is, get a little bit lower. Remember, straight back, none of this. Straight back. There it is. Get a little lower. That's the one. Nice. Think about all of the yummy food you could be eating right now. Think about hot dogs. Think about cold dogs. Think about lukewarm dogs. Think about dogs that were hot, but now they're steadily dwindling down towards lukewarm dogs. Think about dogs that were frozen, but are now being defrosted. And so now they're becoming lukewarm dogs. Think about actual dogs, get a little shorter. Think about fake dogs. Think about uh, cartoon dogs. Think about dogs that are gigantic. Think about teacup dogs, it's itty bitty dogs. A little shorter. That's it. So here's a little joke for you guys. Why didn't the skeleton cross the road. Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? I'll let you think about it for a second. Because he didn't have the guts. A little anatomy humor for you. There it yes. is. Doing good. Keep it up. Keep it up. What was the joke again? Oh. <laughs> And time! Nicely done, guys. Timer just went off. Good I work. Sink out the legs. Boom! Water. I personally thought it's because his bones were trembling. Because his you bones gotta... were trembling? Oh, good question. The skeleton didn't cross the road because he didn't have the guts. I don't get it. Skeletons was... don't have organs, and that's what guts are. Guts are organs. And usually if you say someone didn't have the guts, that means they were scared. 
so it's a pun. Oh, I get it. It's Mr. a great Burton. pun, by the way. It's a great Thank pun. You. Thank you very much. Mr. Burton, do you want to know why the skeleton did cross the road? Oh, why did he? To get to the body shop. Hey! <laughs> yeah, dude. That's, that's a does. good one. I like that. Mr. Burden, I have a joke for you, too. All right, one. last one. Go ahead and tell me. What's a ghost's favorite place to go trick-or-treating? What's a ghost's favorite place to go trick-or-treating? A ghost town. Why hey! Does still, <laughs> why does the skeleton go to the dance? Okay, guys, go ahead and mute your mics. Because he had no body to out. go with. Yes. All right, muting the mics. There we go. Yes. Got some space to stretch in here. Like you just don't care. And down to your toes. Ah. Everybody say, ooh. Then say, ah. Then say, woo. Then say, blah. And tea. Going side to side. Come down to the right side. Say, right side, sir. And counting. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tia! Switch sides. Say, what's up, other side? There it is. And counting. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tia, nicely done, guys. Going down to the sumo stretch. Everybody say, a sumo. There it is. Sit down, look toward the sky. Let's count in Spanish. Everybody say, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Tia, nice. All right, let's finish up with some butterfly. There it is. Let's count one more time. Let's do it in German. Say ichi, ni, or sorry, <laughs> that's Japanese. That's funny. We'll go ahead and finish counting in Japanese. Ichi, ni, san, chi, go, roku, chichi, hachi, ku, chu, tia. Nice, guys. All right, now that we're all stretched out, time to get into it. So, I've got a challenge. It's pretty darn simple. We're going to do round kicks as a team. I'm going to be kicking until I make it to 30 kicks. My foot and your foot is not allowed to touch the floor once you start kicking. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna start my round kicks, and then I'm just gonna leave my foot up, and I'm gonna keep doing my kicks over and over until I reach 40. Your job is to see how many you can do. If your foot touches the floor, that means you have to start your count over, okay? That's the idea. Now, you guys may be able to get more than me. You might get less, it's okay. As long as you can do more than one, I am happy because that means you're working on your balance. Yes, sir? Okay, guys. Yes, sir. Whenever we finish, I want you to type your answer to respond to me, okay? I'd ask you to unmute your mics, but there's too many and it'll take too long. So just type in your answer once we're done. All right, get ready, get set, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Six, 27, 28, 29, 30, and that's it. All righty, guys, send in your results. How many did you get? And we're done, guys. We made it to 30. Oh, we got a 35, 63. Whoa. Mr. Burton. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know how to type. Okay, that's okay. Thank you for telling me. Me neither. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's okay, guys. I'm just going to say now that Everybody I got 10. I'm just going to say now that I got um, 42. I actually don't I got know. How to do. Very reasonable. 
All right, guys, it's round two. Have you got it? I got 48. 48. All right, hold on, guys. Remember, we're going to keep our mics unmuted, okay? All right, now we're on round two. So now we're going to do the other leg. Same. Yes. Mom, take this down here. I'm going to mute this. There we go. All right, guys, we're starting our challenge. Left side. Ready? And go. Twenty-nine, thirty, and that's it. All right, send in what you got. Nice. Twenty-five, twenty-fives, twenty-twos, got a thirteen. Thirty-five. Eight. Eighty-five from Leo. Holy monkeys! Thirty. I got from ninety-four. I got ninety-four. 94. That's good. I got, I got fifty-four. 40. I got forty-five. Nice, I got guys. 50. Give yourselves a pat okay. on the back. How do you get 65? I got 65. Nice. All right, guys. Go ahead and mute your microphones once more. So we just reviewed our round kicks. Now, we know that there's four pieces. We've got our pivot. That means I turn my back foot, I chamber, I kick, and I rechamber. You guys are all good at that now. That means it's time for us to move into more advanced versions of the round kick because there's lots more advanced versions. So uh, I'm, I'll be curious, if you know the answer, I want you to tell me what it is when you see it. What kind of kick is this? Watch carefully. Hop jump. Hop, Hop jump front. Exactly. Hop jump front kick. So now the question is, can I do a hop kick that's a round kick? The answer is yes, but it's tricky. So I'll show you what it looks like. This is a normal hop front kick. <laughs> Now I'm gonna do a hop round kick. So I do my hop part, but then I turn it and I do my round kick. So that's what it looks like. Let's talk about the pieces, what makes up this kick. So I'm gonna start off by saying crane. Everybody tell me crane. Now what I want you to do is I want you to jump and land on the other leg. That's it. Now jump and land on the other leg again. And with you. And switch. Nice. So now we're going to do that, but whenever I land on the other leg, and here, I'm going to switch over here, I want you to be facing to the side. So watch what it looks like when I do it. I jump and I turn. So I'm facing this way. So if I was here, I jump and turn this way. Doesn't matter which leg you do, I could do it on the other side like this. Let me see that. Do that for a second. Go, go, go. That's it, nice. All right, so let's add the next piece. Now I start on that one leg, and as I jump and turn, I'm gonna fire a round kick. Now a round kick is very important. My toes cannot be pointed up. They have to be sideways. So watch me. I jump and I turn and I kick. And I land on that one foot. One more time, let's do it together. Chamber, jump and kick. Let's do it again. Chamber, jump and kick. So if I make it smooth, instead of doing it where I pick up my leg and then I kick, I make it flow. So I go one into the kick. One, two, like that. Or if I did it on the other side, I go one, two. That's the idea. So what I'd like you guys to do now is get your partners, or if you don't have one, get that shirt. And I want you guys to use this kick on that target. So I'll show you as an example, I'm gonna hold up my own I'm target, a my partner, and I'm gonna do my hop round kick, just like that. All right, we're gonna go for about a minute and a half. I wanna get a chance to see everybody. Ready, steady, go. Nice, Liam. Get it, KD. Nice. Boom. 
I'm watching you, Arav. Boom! That's it. Hold on, I missed that message. Let me read it real quick. I gotta pull it up in the chat. Let me see. Declan fell off his bike and hurt his hip. Oh, that is totally fine. Take care of yourself, man. Thank you for telling me. And if we have an XSL, can we use it? Absolutely. Please use a target if you have one, for sure. That's the one. Nice, Jake. That looks awesome. Good job, Anna. Did you send it flying when you hit it? That's funny. Let me see. How's Naham doing? Boom! That's it. I'm watching Sinjana. Let me see. Kaboom! That's it. Good yeah. job. All right, Walker, let's see what you got. Yeah. Boom! That's it. Hey, Walker, it'll be yeah. easy if you dangle it like this in front of you. Because yeah. then I can just kick it and not let go. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see Mari. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, that's it, good job. All right, let me see Kenton, I'm watching, man. Let me see it. Yeah. Nice, yeah. that's it, man. All right, Leo, hold on, let me, yeah. let me scroll back to you. You're a couple pages over. All right, I'm watching, Leo. Boom! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And time, guys. Nicely done. I hope you also practice on the other leg because the left leg is, is, is important to train as well. It's going to build your balance so that you can stand on either leg and not feel like you're going to fall over. Because Mr. Burton, he can do this where he can kick 30 times in a row and he's not afraid of falling over. You guys can get there too. You just have to practice kicking on both legs, okay? All right, good job, everybody. Let's review our techniques real quick that we talked about last week. It was defenses against bear hugs. So if you have partners, please use them during this time. If you don't, it's okay, practice solo. Let's start off with our level threes. It's crashing wings. Level three is going to say crashing wings. I want you to use your words so it helps stick in your head. We're gonna start by putting uh -huh. your hands in the air. I step right into a horse stance. I bring my elbows down. I bring my feet together, I step behind the bad guy, I elbow, I hammer, and I hammer. Let's do it again. So I was here, hands in the air, horse stance, elbows down, feet together, step behind, elbow, hammer, hammer. That's the one. All right, level threes, I'd like you to practice that on your own while I review the next level's technique, okay? If you have questions, feel free to send it to me over chat. All right, let's take a look at level four and level five. You guys have the same technique. Repeat after me, but leave your, your mics muted. Say, spiraling twig. That's your technique. All right, here we go. So, they've got me, and I'm gonna face you for this one. Their hands are super high in my armpits. So I'm gonna tap, 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 grind, and then step into a horse stance. Now I'm gonna face away, now that you know what my hands are doing. So I grind, I step into a horse stance. My hands flop to pin, and I catch with my hands like I clap. My left leg steps to my right, and my right leg steps behind me. Now I front kick, and I punch and land. Let's do it again. They've got me. So I tap and grind, I step out to a horse, I flap my arms, I catch the hand. Step, step, front kick, punch. That's the one. All right, guys, level fours and fives, please practice that on your own or with a partner. If you have any questions, please send them to me in the chat. I'm gonna go ahead and check my chat because I bet I missed a couple messages while I was talking. Let me see. Uh, okay, we just had some questions about the time. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so uh, for everybody, and go ahead and keep training while I'm talking. Uh, I just want to provide some, some pointers on this. For the crashing wings, the level threes, I want you guys, your big thing that you're paying attention to is that if you have 
the arms around you in the bear hug, when you bring your elbows down, it's tempting to have your elbow go over their arm like this. That doesn't do anything. I want the point of my elbow, imagine it's like, it's like a nail and I want to stick it into their arm and grind it in until it hurts the bad guy. That's what's going to make them let go. If my elbow goes over it, it doesn't do anything. It has to go here and grind. My level fours and fives on spiraling twig, you guys have to use your door knocker knuckles and you have to grind it into their hands like that. So I don't know if you can see, but I grind my knuckles like that. I tap some and I grind some, I do both. Okay, let me check the chat. Go ahead and practice. That means you too, Liam. Let me see you practice, buddy. That's the one, nice. And you flap, ooh, that looks good. Yes, you catch. Beautiful. We've got 18 minutes left, buddy. Let me see the chat, let me see if I missed anything. Beautiful, oh, and I missed somebody asking what we just go over. We went over spiraling twig, so I'll show it one more time. Spiraling twig, I'm here, I tap and grind, I step, flap, catch. Now I do a step, step, kick and punch. And don't forget guys, all of these are on the kick site page. It's a better place to learn it than from Zoom because you can pause it and look at the pieces. Um, so just remember that you can do that. All right, I'm gonna give you about 30 more seconds. Keep going. Nice, good work. Uh-huh. And time. Good work, everybody. Please give your partner a high five or a hug. Say thank you so much for being my partner. It was awesome that they were willing to help you out so you could get better and stronger. Fantastic. So if I say the word pineapple, that means push-ups. It means five. So I'm going to try to sneak the word pineapple into some of my sentences. If you ever hear me say pineapple, then you need to immediately drop and do five push-ups. I'm going to try to sneak it by you, so I'm gonna say it in a way that isn't obvious. So just be ready. So it starts now. That means that if I say pineapple, what should you do? Push-ups, that's right, go. That's it, nice. But what happens if Mr. Burton says, Pineapple. Oh, that's the one nicely done, guys. Okay, all right, so let's move on. Uh, so I want you guys to hop into a right leg lead garden stance, say Tia. That's it, and I want you to point your elbow at me, look through your elbow, say grr. If you were Dracula, you could imagine you were pulling your cloak across you, looking dramatic as the wind blows through your hair. Now I want you guys to show me back fist. Now show me palm heel. Let's try it again. Show me elbow, back fist, palm heel. Switch legs. Look through your elbow, back fist, palm heel. That's it, switch legs. Elbow, back fist, pineapple. Oh, nice catch, guys. That's right. I said pineapple. That means go down. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Switch. Elbow. Back fist. Palm heel. Now I want you guys to do a guarding stance facing the side. Face the side. Say elbow. Back fist. Palm heel. Now turn and face this way. Elbow. Back fist. Palm heel. Now I want you to face away from the camera. Elbow, back fist, palm heel. Now face the camera. Elbow, back fist, pineapple. Wait, 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 why are you guys doing push-ups? Did I say something? What's wrong? I know, I'm being silly. 
Okay, so whenever I say go, here's what I want to see. I want to see you guys do elbow back to his palm heel switch, elbow back to his palm heel switch, elbow back to his palm heel, over and over. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Go! Faster, faster, faster. That's one. Boom, pop, 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 pop. That's one. Elbow back to his palm heel. Elbow back to his palm heel. Elbow back to his palm heel. That's it. Nice. You guys are doing so good. It's making me hungry for some pineapple right about now. Oh, did I just say pineapple? I think I did. You guys better go down. Of course down. you did. <laughs> nice. All righty, don't stop once you're back up from your push-ups. Go ahead and keep going. Elbow back to his palm heel. Elbow back to his palm heel. Switch No, Mr. Turn. Burton, you said broccoli. Broccoli doesn't <laughs> mean anything. Broccoli. There it is. And relax. Nicely done, guys. Okay, so I've got a new combination for you to work. So we just did elbow back this palm heel. Now what I want you guys to do is I want you to take whichever hand is in back. Go ahead and wave it so we know which one it is. To hop into a guarding stance, we need to know which hand is farthest away. And I want you guys to use it and brush your hair. Brush your hair. Brush your hair. Now say, mm, I'm so handsome. I'm so handsome. I'm so handsome. As you do it. I want you to brush your hair and turn around. So if I were facing away from you, when I brush my hair, I'm gonna turn around so I can see you now. So I want everybody to turn and face away. Face away from me. And then I want you to brush your hair and turn around. Now you have to use the hand that's in back. So notice this, if I'm facing over here, this hand is in front, this hand is in back. If I turn around and brush my hair with this one, that doesn't help me if someone's punching me from this way. Because watch, if you imagine a bad guy's right here and he tries to punch me, if I brush my hair, did that protect me at all? I would say no. So I've got to use the hand that's in back. So one more time, face away from the camera. I want you to brush your hair and turn to face me. Now you have a new hand that's in back. It's the other hand this time. So I want you to brush your hair with that one and turn around. Then brush your hair with the other hand and turn around. So I'll show it to you from the side view. This is what I'm looking for. Go ahead and watch for a second so it makes sense. Brush my hair, turn around. Brush my hair, turn around. Brush my hair, turn around. All right, guys, that's the trick. Everybody say rear cover. That's what this is called. It's called a rear cover because we're protecting ourselves from bad guys that are on our rear. Okay, whenever I say go, I want you to do that over and over. Ready, set, go. That's it, go, 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 nice. Over and over, keep those hands up, hands up. Beautiful. That's it. I see a good job. Wait, what was it again? Watch. Rear cover. Rear cover. So I brush my hair as I step and turn. And to the side. Like that? Hold on, I can't see you, buddy. Let me move to you. Right I gotta here. find you. There you are. Go ahead. Let me watch. Close, buddy. Do it with me. So face me, use the hand that's in back, brush your hair, and turn around. That's it. And time, guys. I saw good work from Mari. I saw good work from Anna. I saw amazing work from Pineapple. I saw even better work from, oh, did I say pine? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I said that. That's crazy. What nonsense. <laughs> All right, guys, now we're gonna put those two combinations together. So I did look through my elbow, back fist, palm heel. Now the same hand that palm healed is gonna brush my hair and I'm gonna turn around so I'm facing the other way. Then I'm going to, on that direction, elbow, back fist, palm heel, and I'm going to do my rear cover. 
elbow, back fist, palm heel, rear cover, elbow, back fist, palm heel, rear cover, elbow, back fist, palm heel, rear cover. Okay, guys, I'll show it to you from the side real quick. So if I'm facing this way, I look through my elbow, I back fist, say palm heel, rear cover, I elbow, back fist, palm heel, rear cover, elbow, back fist, palm heel. I'll give you about 30 seconds, rock it, over and over. Boom, that's it. Nice, 10 seconds left, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, time, nice. If you have a partner available, what you can do, and I'm grabbing the stick now, this way, is on the rear cover, and if you rear cover correctly, then what should happen is as I rear cover, the stick is no longer poking me. So if you're a partner, then what you can do is you can take your hand like this and put it on their spine. And then by the time they're done with their rear cover, your hand should no longer be uh, poking into their back. Because if you watch my feet while I do this rear cover, notice how my front leg steps a little whenever I do this. Now it's my rear leg. So my front leg, if I'm turning to face you, steps a little. And that moves you offline. That's what makes the rear cover so cool is that if a bad guy's punching you, he's gonna miss as long as you rear cover. And good question, if you don't have a partner, then you just practice for a second. I just wanted to let everybody know that's how you can test it. So you don't necessarily have to do it now, but you can real quick. All right, we're gonna go ahead and review our form. And I'm afraid that's all we'll have time for today. So let's go ahead and rock it. Everybody put your hands like this, stick your fingers out, and hold it up like this, say fire style. We're gonna do level three first. Remember, if you're level four and five, you just do spiraling twig instead of, instead of crashing wings at the beginning. Level three. And here, I'll face away from you guys so you can see better. Crashing wings. Now I'm gonna turn around, look through my elbow, back fist, palm heel. Now I rear cover, so I turn around, and I'm going to do a round kick. Tia! That's it. All right, watch again. I'm gonna do that one more time. I'll show it to you from the side. Here we go. Fire style, level three. Crashing wings. Look through my elbow, back fist, palm heel, rear cover, round kick. Tia! I show it one more time. This time I'll face you. Here we go. Fire style, level three. Crashing wings. Look through my elbow, back fist, palm heel, rear cover, round kick. Tia! All right, guys, that's level threes. That's what you guys are doing. Let's look at level fours. So fire style, level four, spiraling twig. Once I'm here, I'm going to do the same thing. Turn around, look through my elbow, back fist, palm heel. I rear cover, but instead of doing that round kick, I'm gonna do a palm heel. Tia! Then I'm gonna do a two round kicks. I'm gonna do one low, Tia, and then one high, Tia! That's what you guys are doing, level fours. Let's do it again. And here I'll face away in this one. Fire style, level four. Spiraling twig. Front kick, punch. Now I'm going to do my, I'm gonna look through my elbow. Back fist, palm heel. Rear cover, palm heel. Round kick, low, high. All right, I missed a message. Let me see if somebody has a question real quick. Mr. Go. Burton, what, fit, what foot kicks? Good question, they're round kicks. So, it's for the level fours, you guys are doing 
a low round kick and then a high round kick. For what? my level three, you guys just do one big round kick as high as you can go. Okay, and Mari, good question. So as the provisional, you're doing level five. That's what we're gonna look at now. Here we go. Fire style, level five. Spiraling twig, catch. And here I need to move so I don't bump into stuff. Double step, front kick, punch. Look through my elbow, back fist, palm heel. Rear cover. Now instead of doing that palm heel, I'm gonna chamber my left hand at my side and I'm gonna do a right inward elbow. Then I'm going to wrap with my right hand, looks like this, and I'm gonna do a right knee. Kia! And we're gonna pause there. I'll show it to you guys one more time. Here we go. From the back, fire style, level five, spiraling twig. Kick with the leg back, punch. Look through my elbow, back fist, palm heel, rear cover. Now I do my elbow hook knee. And that's level five. Nicely done, everybody. We have two minutes left. Remember, your form is on the website, so that's a good place to look at it. Next Thursday, we're going to look at our punch techniques. That's going to be sleeper, the dance of death, and thundering hammers. It's going to be a good time. We're going to finish up with a good old fashioned. No, good question. So level four, remember, was a palm heel and a low high kick. Level five was an elbow, hook, and knee. So level four and five are not the same there, okay? All right, so we're going to finish up with a good old-fashioned push-up challenge, guys. Here's the deal. We're going to do push-ups until Mr. Burton gets to 30. We're going to see how many you guys can do, okay? All right, ready, steady, go! And time. All right, guys, that was 30 for me. How many did you, did you do? You can go ahead and unmute because we're at the end of class. Go ahead and tell me. 26. 20. 20. I go. 40. I got 40. 40. 40. 32. No. 50. Uh, you're waiting, okay, I didn't do Good but job, guys. Two. 40 and 40. Oh, yeah. I have a question. Okay. So everybody tell me real quick. Oh, Where can you learn your okay. form and technique from? Where can you learn? Where can you find your forms and your techniques? Um, pig site. Pig site. Three, everybody say pig site. Ready? One, two. Pig site. Please, Please use it because it's really hard to learn from video like this. It's really hard. My next wrong hand which is okay but if you use kick site that won't be an issue I got 56. Right. good job everybody we're out of time i hope everyone has an awesome night we'll see you on Thursday. Bye. 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 adios adios